Welcome to TVC News. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and a little less than 24 hours since the National Convention of the APC began in Abuja, the nation's capital. Eagle Square venue of the convention had an unprecedented crowd gather creating initial security concerns for the police. After surmounting that, the event kicked off as delegates arrived one after the other. <laughs> Vice President Yamushin Bajo came into the arena minutes after 8 p.m. Then President Muhammad Buhari, which signaled the official commencement of the event. And now it's official. The APC has a brand new national chairman. He is Abdullahi Adamu, who emerged after six other aspirants stepped down for him in a consensus arrangement worked out by the president and other leaders of the party. 77 other officers of the party came through the initial unity list announced by the chairman of the election committee of the convention, Abubakar Badaru. leading to the formation of what is called the unity list was expected to be seamless, but it appeared the party had more than it bargained for in getting the list out. A long wait it was for journalists and party supporters as APC chief is including Bola Tinubu, former national chairman of the party, governors, former governors, aspirants, national assembly members and others arrived one after the other. Security operatives had a busy time controlling the crowd just as the party party supporters turned the pavilions into a carnival. The arrival of the President of the Senate and the Speaker House of Representatives at about 6 p.m. raised hope the event will soon commence. In the middle of this, favored aspirant Abdullahi Adamu arrived, mounted the podium and was unofficially announced the party's national chairman. APC! Louder! A B C. I am I am agreed myself seriously because I spent over 300 million naira in my 21 months plus, minus the form that I bought. I'm aggrieved, but I have one belief that if God says something is yours, nobody can stop it. I will convince them to accept it. There have never been an election that goes unchallenged, but at the end of the day. We will we'll come out victorious, very strong, as members of one family. Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo's arrival at about 8 p.m., followed by Mr. President, minutes after he started the convention. <laughs> Speeches from notable party leaders followed, from the Speaker House of Representatives to the President of the Senate, the Vice President, and President Mohamed Buhari. Messages of hope for the party in the coming years were resounding. As we have gathered here today from across the regions of our country, representing every religion, tribe, and gender, I urge you, fellow progressives, to adopt this motto of nation building a joint task and act accordingly. Let us set aside personal interests and ambitions to work together to deliver a successful convention that we can all be proud of. This convention is coming at a crucial time when we prepare for another round of general election. Therefore, the need to remain strong and united for the party to exploit the rich abundant potentials at its disposal cannot be overemphasized. We appreciate the right to hold different opinions and aspirations. However, such differences must not be to the detriment of the party. Then came the moment everyone was waiting for. 
as consensus candidates were announced. Given the power vested to me, I declare the position of national chairman to Senator Abdullahi Adamu Aleru. Having sat Few aspirants refused to step down, giving room for another round of consultation. After much deliberations, some of them vowed to party supremacy. My grievance was the fact that under the term, loose term, of consensus, I was not part of the consensus, but because of the plea and the reminder of the respect that I've always had to our leader and mentor, General Muhammad Buhari, I want to openly declare that I have completely accepted what has been done in the name of consensus. The Abdullah Adamu led executive team of the nation's ruling party certainly has a lot of healing to do well ahead of the 2023 general election. Jokhe Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.